Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. In the previous episode we lost our streak to a tinted lost randomization. It happens to the best of us. But there you go. Ooh, and we get Eden. I I want to do Eden again, but I feel like I do Eden all the time. Do you know what? I don't care. You guys like Eden, don't you? I hope you like Eden. Please let me know if you like Eden runs. I like Eden runs. I think they're one of the most fun runs that you can have. But... I had this whole list, of, well, I won't say whole list, but I had like a few pretty interesting topics also. We started with the best space bar item possible. Um, I had this whole list of like topics I wanted to sort of talk about or things I wanted to talk about in the last episode. And then I got tainted lost and couldn't. It was very frustrating. So by the way, just, just before we get into this, we started with uh, Angelic Conception, which is pretty good whenever we um, heal up, uh, like whenever we pick up red hearts, we have a chance of giving ourselves an angel familiar, um, which is quite nice. Won't be super regular until we get some red hearts, but it's at least pretty nice. Um, and the space bar item that we got is the Rubik's Cube. Basically, it's a two-room charge. Every time we press it, we have a chance to solve it. Essentially, what... Uh, I can't remember how to do this. Um... Okay, there you go. Uh, and essentially, um, it has a chance to solve with uh, with each use of it. Um... Oh, that's a cool Christmas dude. I like that. Interesting. Um, and essentially, when you solve it, it becomes the completed Rubik's Cube. With the completed Rubik's Cube, it becomes a D6 with, I, I think it's a four room charge, might be a six room charge, that can re-roll an item into any pool. Uh, spawns an orbital bishop that protects charmed monsters and familiars from damage. The bishop dies when hit, charming the enemy that touched it. Okay, we might as well just take it, whatever. Um, yeah. Um, and it will re-roll them into any pool, which means it's basically a D6 that's really, really good. It can take up to 20 tries to solve, but on the 20th use, it solves guaranteed. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Like, it will, we will get it eventually, no, no matter how long it takes. I believe I had it once on a video before, and it solved on the very first try, uh, which was pretty interesting. So we'll hope it solves relatively soon, but it's only a two-room charge, so... Getting to 20 shouldn't take us too long. Um, yeah, I don't really care about you stealing the charges on this, I'll be honest. Um, flames flare up and hurt enemies. Extra speed. I like the idea of this. I like the idea of this. You can also go and get some extra bombs over here. Boom, bow. And then second secret is probably at the end of this hallway here. I, might, I, I think I will use my strength card in the boss fight. I was debating whether to, but I think I will. Shop is looking intriguing. I think I'll definitely buy this and just leave the rest. Yeah, the these secret rooms, I'm not sure which mod is adding these. They're a tad bit too common right now, I have to say. Oh, double health up. Very nice. I'll take all of these. You know what? Full health. Speed up. Very good. Yeah, let's just pop the strength card. Because I was going to use a bomb, but why not just pop a strength card and not have to use a bomb? Seems like a better option. Ooh, I knew I was going to get hit there. But now that i got these uh, health upgrades, I don't actually care so much. Uh, that's fine. And I'm going to dip down to the next floor. I'm feeling good about this uh, this Eden start. This is an interesting one indeed. It's an Eden start that I can get behind. Uh, I'll check this sap room. Nothing there that really interests me. I haven't seen the singe thing work yet. I'm, I'm wondering how often it does the flare-ups. I mean, at the end of the day, it was a speed upgrade nonetheless, which is pretty nice. But I'd like to see that occur sometimes. Ah, I see how this works now. I can, like, use it to charm an enemy by contact damaging them with the uh, with the bishop once a room. You need to calm down, sir. He did give me a restock machine. That's, that's pretty heckin' good. Still no solve on our cube. Okay, let's 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 not try to uh to, to force the bishop into play. If we can get it to work, we can get it to work. Oh, there you go. We we just saw a few flame flare ups there. I don't know if it's under specific circumstances. Oh, they're just kind of hard to see. I did just see another one, but they're they're just a little bit hard to uh, distinguish. And they don't always hit directly on the enemy. Still no solve. We're getting a bit unlucky here. Hopefully we get a key for our uh, item room here. 
5% chance to activate dark ass effect when taking damage. Increase the spawn rate of black chests in devil rooms. I like black chests, so I'm going to take that. The, the the dark arts on hit thing, what the flibbity flibbity fuck is going on here? Right, so keys are good. Um, hmm. Didn't give us a key. Shit. No key. No key. Return to the starting room. Extra speed and mapping. Let's just um, use that. I should kill everything. Good, good. Okay, this is a wacky one. This room here is pretty strange. I like the idea behind it, though. Um, I think we open up another one of them. We definitely take the soul heart. I think we get up to 15 cent, at least. Then we bomb into here, see what we get. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we I think we um smelt that up. Spectral and piercing to all familiars is pretty good. I think we'll just take molding clay to be honest. And I think we just open this bad boy up. Let it suck. I'll take one bomb. This should give us a decently high quality item. I was wrong. It did, however, give us one of the best trinkets in the entire game. Spawns a pride mini-boss to fight with you, gives you rainbow tears. It's very, very strong. <laughs> so now we can go and smelt... The smelter's gone. Why is the smelter gone? Okay. I guess the smelter's gone. Um, and Evil Eye, I guess. Yeah, um, rainbow tears is nice. The pride mini-boss is very... Very, very, very strong. Um, ooh, I think I think he is a good use case of this. Killing enemies grants you tears up and speed up. Yeah, we'll take that. I know we didn't get too much use out of that there, but I like the idea of that. Right. Okay then. It's it's probably the strongest trinket. Also, we we do have the um, thingy trinket, uh, the broken hearts devil deal one, which I love. But this is this is a trinket I haven't seen yet from Ipecac, and they know it's they know it's absurdly strong. They 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 know that it is kind of purposely so. Oh god, you slipped a shot in there. Yeah, it's kind of purposely so. Um, but it's it's very fun. I like having it. It's like a flagship sort of run. So we're gonna get black chests more often in these. So we should probably check them. There you go. Um. This does take off soul hearts, unfortunately. Did that one just fail in one use? Okay, that was unlucky. But there you go. Anyways. We'll go to downpour. Still no solve on our cube. This is unfortunate. Then again, we did get it at the start of our run. I can't really complain too much about not getting it. And we do now have the, the best trinket in the game. I wouldn't say it's the best trinket in the game. It's one of the best trinkets in the game. It's incredibly strong. Um, and also we get Rainbow Tears, which is amazing too. I'm seeing like little white fires from the from the uh, the fire item pop up every now and again. Kind of intriguing. There's a key. Nice. Still no solve. We should maybe hold off on taking the item if it's bad. Yeah. Until uh, until we can maybe solve our uh, cube. We might get a reroll. Get out of here. Still no solve. God damn it. I love the visual, like the character effects from um, from this gusty blood or whatever it's called. Looks really nice, like the little horns around us and whenever we get a kill we turn red for a short time. Also, where's our evil eyes? We've not had a single one of those yet. Hey, 
Yay, we did it. Okay. So it is a four room charge. The only problem is we currently don't have any charges for it. I didn't think about that. The shop will provide for us. It's Mushroom Boy. Damn it, the shop will not provide. How could you shop? How could you? No, we can use the mirror dimension to uh, get some extra charges here. Let's go do that now. I do find... The, the one thing I've got to say about... Um, about our pride familiar dude. He does like to annoy the shit out of you by just going... Meh. 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 As he does his little cross attack thing. just like to be a little a little bit of a bitch with that. Ooh, that was close. No keys for that, sadly. Why did I go into this room? This room's awful. He doesn't like to move either, it's just to sit in one place and just go, Me. Luckily he doesn't spawn troll bombs though. I'm guessing that's the reason he does that attack so much. Right. Don't want to open that chest. Just want to get back to uh, normality. But yes, now we can reroll the teleporter into literally any item pool. On a four room charge. Very, very strong. <laughs> Stop making me pick up this trinket. I don't want it. Fucking sit over here, you prick. So annoying. We get my shadow or scapula. <laughs> scapula was not was not it. But we weren't gonna get another charge this floor anyway, so there you go. Right. Oh my god, the contact damage he does is absurd. Just from walking into enemies, he demolishes them. <laughs> It's kind of stupid how strong he is. Like, maybe just, like, if you want, I know they want him to be really overpowered so it doesn't have to change, but if you do want to try and balance him, just make him not deal contact damage. Just, just his attacks are enough. The contact damage is kind of absurd. But I love him. He's my best bud. We have pride. We have gay pride. Who's my little penny, penny, penny? This is a gross room full of gross enemies. I mean, his actual attack isn't that strong because it fires on diagonals, which means he doesn't do direct damage. It's just him walking into things or things walking into him. They just die straight away. <laughs> I kind of love it. Maybe, maybe it's so overpowered because it's like the power of pride. I saw is. Um, can we discuss this room a minute? I saw is fun enough for me to take. Yeah, that room was kind of boxed. Yeah, you get in there. You you get in there and kill everything. Oh, yes. I saw popping off. Greed versus keeper. Greed versus not greed versus keeper. Greed versus pride. Which sin will win? Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, do you know, I had topics that I wanted to talk about and I've got sidetracked yet again. I always do this. I get, I get something in my mind. But I was saying in the last episode that today I um, I had a bit of a long lunch and I had the, the, like, the last two or three episodes remaining on Community. So I watched those. Had a very nice time watching them. But it's not my first time watching Community. I was going to sort of talk about the fact that and ask questions to you guys. Like how many of you out there just kind of like rewatch series over and over and over again? Because I've got like four, like six or seven series that I just like go through on a loop and kind of loop back to the first one again by the time I got through them all. I go through like The Office, Parks and Rec, um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, um, Community, Peep Show, 
There's, there's a lot of them that I like loop through each year. I just keep keep watching perpetually and never, never try new things. But one show that I really want to talk about in particular, like Community, I've just finished that. that that's a fantastic show. It's really funny and it's, it's, it's very good. It gets a bit weird towards the end, but it's still a very good show. Um... But there's one that I want to talk about in particular, and that's um, that's The Good Place. I don't know how many of you out there have watched The Good Place, but that, I don't know why, but, like, I, I'm not a person that deals with um, depression or anxiety much in my life. Like, I've, I've been I've been quite lucky with the fact that um, my mental health is pretty stable, uh, whether that be my upbringing, my, my, my current standing in life or what, but... I've never really had any super bad issues with um, with with mental mental health. Uh, I've never really had depression or anxiety, anything like that. And I know a lot of people out there suffer with it. I'm not trying to rub it in your face or anything. I'm just trying to sort of give context to this. Um, but yeah, so like I watched The Good Place, and for anyone that hasn't watched it, um, do. But basically, um, it it has a lot of like philosophy and talk about life b baked into a into so sort of like a a comedy um it's more than a comedy but like it's kind of baked into that sort of format um and it works incredibly well and it's because the the, the actors are for one really good the setting's really good because it's basically about um this woman eleanor that goes to heaven and then she she finds out she's not meant to be in heaven uh, she was meant to go to hell and um it's all about sort of her there's a lot more a lot more to it than that especially in the late seasons but um that's kind of the, the the basic gist of it, um, and yeah, they talk one of the one of the other characters that's in heaven with her is a philosopher, and it, it goes pretty deep into philosophy. And it's just become a show for me that's such such a comfort. Like even even though I don't deal with um, anxiety and depression, I do, it's always the show I go back to when I'm feeling uneasy or if if I'm even feeling slightly depressed or slightly anxious or any sort of negative feeling. That's just a TV show that even though I've watched it like five or six times all the way through already, I can always come back to it as just a, a really good good um single use chance to spawn an angel item chance to spawn two soul hearts chance to spawn an item let's just go for it there you go i'll definitely take that um it's just become such a show for me that's like su su such a comfort i mean a lot of the shows i watch are i watch through like i said the off i've watched the office about 20 times brooklyn 99 three or four times uh, parks and rec about 10 um peep show about 20 i've, I've watched all these shows a ton of, a ton of times and i really enjoy watching through them again. I think they're all just very rewatchable, very quotable, all that sort of good stuff. Um, oh, ho, ho, what a get. Um, yeah, and I don't know what it is about The Good Place, but it's just such a, it's such a great show for, uh, for comfort. I, I really like the, the characters and I wouldn't say it's like I relate to them, but like, I mean, I do somewhat. That's kind of the whole point that you relate to the characters somewhat, but like, it's not like I, I really relate to any of the characters, or it's not like I, I I have any shared life experience or shared past with anything that's going on there. I just, I don't know what it is about it. It's just, for me, it's just a great comfort watching that show. And whenever I'm feeling sort of low or like stressed out or anything, I always go back to that show and I kind of, I cycle through a lot of my other shows to rewatch just throughout the year, but that's always one that I kind of save for when I'm in a, in a um, yes. Actually, reeled into another shop item. That's kind of funny, but um, that's always one that I kind of save for um, like a point in my life where I I wouldn't say I need it, but one where I think it could help me, and it often does. I do, it's it's like I think it's like four or five seasons long. I can't actually remember how long it is now. Um, but it, every time I watch it, it's just it just I don't know. I, all I'm saying is, for one, even if you don't need it for that reason, I highly recommend it. It's a brilliant, brilliant watch. Uh, um, and if if you are feeling that way, it also is a brilliant watch. It, it like asks a lot of questions about life while keeping it lighthearted and funny. But it's I don't know. I, I really I can't I can't describe what it is. It's got like that. Is it ineffable? Is the word ineffable quality where you just can't really place your finger on what it is about it, but something about it just. Gives it gives it something different. Adds one broken heart, removes a random item from your inventory, spawns three random items from your current pool. Only two items can be taken. If only one, um, if you only have one item, only two will spawn. That seems interesting. Uh, we could definitely lose a good item here. We have a lot of good stuff, but as long as we can't lose our trinket, I don't really care. And we'll uh, we'll try and uh, go for our um, secret room pool here, wherever that might be. I think it'll be here. There we go.
Hmm. So, unfortunately, two of these, uh, th all three of these are, um, all three of these are in a pretty, pretty weird spot for us. Okay, so, we've, we've got some decisions to make here. Our key is, of course, what we're going to be taking. We are going to have to let, let, let go of our dice, which is a shame, because it's very good. But I would like to re-roll the other two items. But for me to do that, I need a space bar item, which I can't remember if I have available to me. Okay, I do. So, we go over here. We grab the R key. Just for convenience sake, I'm going to bomb through here. We grab the R key. We come back over this way. It's good that we lost scapula as well. I don't care about scapula at all. Um, we grab that. We use it once. Didn't get anything. Then we go over to this. We grab this. We reroll all of these. We get some very good items. We get that and that. By the way, the card one's absurd. Basically, when we get hit, it uses whatever card we currently hold, which can lead to some real wacky shit. I think it works with runes as well, although I'm not actually sure of that. And then we take the R key and we hold on to it for a little while. Nice. I haven't had an R key run in a little while here, so it's exciting. I'll probably just hold on to it until, like, the womb. I don't want this run to be mega, mega long, but I want to at least get as much as I can out of um, the floors that have item rooms. I think Arky's one of those ones where, yeah, it, you can hold it all the way till the end of a run, but you really don't have to, because you're going to be strong enough by your Arky anyways, and it just, it's just going to add a bit of extra length and a bit of extra chance to get some cool synergistic stuff, which is always fun. A little sad to lose my other spacebar item, though, because I did enjoy it quite a lot. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I'm going to keep harping on it, but it's just one of those shows that just gives me great comfort, and I just I just find it... it it is a real, it's been a real help to me. And it, I just, it's weird because, like I said, I've not suffered with that stuff before. And so I've never really found a show that's like that for me before. I don't know if it's something to do with, like, maybe I was going through a hard, I can't, I genuinely can't remember. Maybe I was going through a hard time the first time I ever watched it. I, I really don't know what it is that, that kind of caused it. But it's just got that association for me. And I feel like it would for a lot of other people too. So if it's some, something you haven't watched before, I really recommend you go watch it. And um, also, this is just a plug that I always make and haven't for a little while. And any of you that have watched me for a considerable amount of time will know that this that know the plug that I'm about to make. But there's a British TV show called Peep Show, um, which so many of you will have heard of so many times because I talk about it constantly. Although, I say constantly, I haven't actually mentioned it in a video in quite a long time. Uh, mainly because I haven't watched it in quite a long time. But that is... This is a horrible room. Um, that is a truly, truly brilliant TV show. It's, a, it's it's probably my favorite TV show of all time. And it's it's just a great concept. I'm going to take damage here. Oh, nope, I'm good. Um, it's just a great concept. Essentially, it's literally just two guys that have recently, over the past like three or four years, moved out of college and are living together in a flat. Um, and it's literally just about them living their lives. But it's filmed Every single shot is filmed in POV, so it's always from one of their point of views or someone around them's point of view. Um, and, oh, nice. And it just, I don't know. I did not know that could happen, but okay. Um, it's it's just it's just so funny. It's so quotable. Um, and I actually made a video, if any of you, some of you might have already seen it, some of you might not have done. Uh, I think we'll definitely take starter deck here. Um... No, thank you. Yeah, some of you may have seen it. Some of you may not have done. Uh, ooh, I would very much like that. Would have liked to have had it a few floors ago, I'll be honest. But we'll see if we can grab that. Um, I actually made a video on my channel that is um, one second. Well, it's, it's more than one second. It's like one moment from every single episode of the show. Um, there's a few of them floating around. I also made one for the office actually, but that that one didn't blow up quite as much. The the peep show one on YouTube, it's got like a it's like like 200k views, but on like I posted it on Facebook originally in one of the peep show Facebook groups, and it got like 2.3 million views. It went crazy. It got like viral. Like I had I had a, a weird moment where 
Um, because I didn't, like, this was my sort of first time making videos, like, before I properly did YouTube. And I didn't put, like, credits at the end of it, or, like, put and put my name in it anywhere, which is a mistake, because people definitely tried to steal it and pass it off as their own. But, um, I had this weird moment where, um, where a friend of mine that, I, I didn't speak to a lot, but, like, we were, we were, like, sort of, spoke to each other through Peep Show quite a lot, because we, we both really liked the show. And they messaged me, like, Yo, have you seen this video? It's really cool. And I was like, yo, I made that video. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, it really popped off. Um, and me, so me, my girlfriend and her old flatmate when she was living, uh, when she was doing university, when the person she lived with then, uh, all just absolutely love the, the show. We, we, we really, really like it. I'm calling it The Show, as in like, that's a weird name for Peep Show. It's not. I'm just saying like The TV Show. That's just not, it's not some like weird cringy super fan thing. Um, it does sound like it though. But uh, we actually, uh, and I have to say, we probably are super fans. But um, we went to a, a, we've actually been to a few quizzes that are like based around the UK. Um, mostly we just went to the ones in our city. I wouldn't really go traveling too far for this. Um, but we, we've been to a few quizzes that are based on the show and we have absolutely dominated dominated them we've 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 been to four we've won three and in the last one that we went to because it was run by the same uh it was like run by the facebook group the facebook fan group and you could we, we haven't been to one since because we won the third one and you could very clearly tell that the the person that ran it was like Come on, guys! <laughs> Give someone else a chance. So we, we've uh, we've since stopped going to them because, like, it's not like it was the same questions every time either. Um, but we apparently we just have like absurd knowledge. Like some of the questions are really specific as well. Like one of them was um, was in episode in, in like see I don't, I don't remember the exact episode, but it was like in like season three, episode four. How many packets of crisps is Mark eating in this scene? In this one scene in the park. And we were like, cool, yeah, it's four. <laughs> we got it right. <laughs> uh, I, I do find it funny. Um, I'll take the Polaroid this time. Ooh, we've got some black chests here as well. Nice. What's up with the black chests just, like, ducking out straight away? It's kind of annoying. Um... Maybe they nerfed them a little bit. Cause to be fair, they were pretty damn strong. Um... Oh, you bastard. I didn't buy... I didn't fucking go back and buy uh, the backpack. That's fine. Yeah, let's just... Let's just R-key here. Um, I don't want the run to go on forever. But yeah, like, we could quote basically every episode of that show and know basically every insider detail about it, no matter how minor. And we kind of... Yeah, we, we, we had to... <laughs> we had to kind of just be like, okay... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stop winning these. We ha I think we went to one after that point, but we just purposely didn't win it. We just did well, but we, like, made sure we got a few questions wrong. Because two of the three that we that we won, it was... I think each time it was around 20 questions. I don't know exact the exact amount, but it was around 20 questions. And um, two of the three times we won, we got every single question right between the three of us. Um, which <laughs> is a, a kind of absurd. So yeah, um, I'd, I'd highly recommend that show. I actually did go and watch it uh, like early, uh, like sort of early last year with a bunch of people in my Discord with about ma the main, mainly four people, but um, a, a few others joined halfway through and sort of watched a few episodes. I do that every now and again. I watch uh, I watch different shows with uh, people in my Discord. There's a me and a group of a few people that um, I I sort of am good good friends with in my Discord. Um, one of my moderators, one of the Ancient Four, which is basically the people in my Discord that have been in it for the longest amount of time. Um, and um, someone that was a huge supporter in the early days of my channel, especially on Twitch. Uh, we, we, we sort of become good friends and we watch uh, we watch different TV shows together. At the minute, we're about uh, halfway through Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which has been an absolute blast. I've mainly been showing them uh, British TV shows, but we, we kind of... What am I getting hit by? Uh, we, we decided to move on to um, to Always Sunny because I think Always Sunny kind of has the lifeblood of a British TV show. It's it's very clearly American. Um, the finger. 
Yeah, it, it is very clearly American, uh, but it, it very much has the British touch of humor. I think that that's that's one thing I've got to say about Peep Show as well. Like the if if there's out there's you out there that like a really sort of with your comedy really really like American comedy, like you're a big fan of Seinfeld. I don't know if it'll quite be your thing, but I definitely recommend trying it. But it is really heavy British humor. Um, like, uh, we need to take this, see if we can get a good card here. Um, to perming spawns, uh, all mapping for the floor. Okay, that's pretty good. See if I get my voice line. Two of cups. Yeah, there you go. It needs, it needs turning up a little bit, maybe. It's a little bit quiet. Probably should have popped this a little earlier. I should, I should have kept that and kept doubling my money. Oh god, I've got two cards now. What the hell happens here? I'm going to hold these two and see what happens. Maybe it's just the active one. I, I, don't, I genuinely don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say it's very it's very British humour. A lot of like cringe comedy. Um, a lot of self-deprecating stuff. Ooh, we've got a lover's card as well here. That'd be a nutty one, actually. Um, Red King's really good. We should take Red King. Um, I'm surprised this deal with the Devil item, to be honest. Uh, but let's take Red King. Okay, they've definitely nerfed black chests. Right. Let's go over and uh, pop this bad boy. Wow. Prevent curses from appearing for the rest of the run. Prevent their curse get grants you a damage up. Very nice. Oh, we got invincibility from Polaroid, I'm guessing. Eh, not the greatest. I mean, I kind of could use that, but I'm not going to. Anyways, let's go find that other secret room here. Yeah, it's going to say there's a lot of... Uh, Basically, it's kind of funny because there's one of the main, like, there's two main characters, Mark and Jez. Jez is kind of like a I don't care, I don't have a job sort of sterner character. And then Mark's like a pretty intelligent, uptight, but very sort of petty and vindictive person. Where, like, <laughs> he just, he has no self-confidence whatsoever. And he just, he is the embodiment of every British human. <laughs> he just is. He's just the embodiment of every single British person. And there's just there's just so many quotable lines from that. I've probably quoted them quite a few times in these videos and people just haven't understood. Uh, Cause it's they just they just come out naturally. Yeah, I, I don't know I don't know how many people out there are like big into their TV shows or big into binge watching, but for me, it's just like what I do all the time. And normally, because I have two monitors, I'll just be playing a game while like passively watching something. Because one of the great things about like re-watching a show is like you can, especially if it's been a little while since you re-watched it, if you've got like a good few shows on the go, it, you can sort of forget at least a bit of what happened. Um, ooh, watermelon, okay. Uh, you, you can forget at least a bit of what happened, but also, ooh, also very nice. Um, it can, uh, we got the relic. Oh, that's from healing. Thank you. Um, but also, um, when when you get to that point, you can kind of passively watch a TV show like on your second monitor while doing other stuff and still kind of be able to fully absorb it. If you're watching for the first time, you really don't want to do that because you're going to miss out. But sometimes when you've seen something so many times, the audio itself is enough to let you infer what's happening on screen. And it means you can like play another game like a... A game that's really, like, sort of passive to play. One where you don't have to have, like, super focus. Uh, and I, I don't know. I find that really enjoyable. I find it... Like I said, I find it comforting. Ooh, look at these... Look at these rainbow seeds. Beautiful. Okay. Question. Will this be broken like it was last time? Because last time we had this red, this red item, it was hella broken. It just kept infinitely spawning doors. Um, so I met, I definitely found a bug here because the seeds aren't running out. The seeds are supposed to run out, right? They ain't running out. Okay, it is fixed. Good. It is now fixed. 
We no longer get an extra red room off of our red room. I don't know what caused that last time, but it was not good. So I'm wondering if we have the seed thing going on forever now. Because if we do, that's pretty nuts. We do. We just straight up have the watermelon forever. Which is nuts, because it gives us insane fire rate, as you can see. And we've got an Incubus firing at two, and then we've got Evil Eyes, and then we've got the, the fucking Prism. And then it's Rainbow Tears, it's all sorts of crazy. Watermelon Seed Tears for the Watermelon Boy. The turtliest of watermelons. But yeah, it'd be interesting to, to hear, like, how many of you out there have this sort of connection with certain TV shows? And how many of you out there are, like, big binge watchers of TV? And kind of do the same thing I do? I know a lot of people do it. A lot and a lot of people do it. It's, it, like, The Office is, is, like, kind of a phenomenon for how big of a comfort show that is for people now. That's kind of, like, huge at the minute. Um, we can potentially re-roll. These keepers disturb me. Uh, Keepers Penny spawn a golden penny upon entering a new floor. Shops will now sell one to four additional items. We are on flooded caves too. I guess I'll still buy it anyways. Why not? If I can, that is. If I can, that is. Bouncy shots would be nice, but we have to stick with pride. Yeah, this has become quite strong. I don't know why watermelons just stuck around, but I ain't complaining. Concussion. I don't think I actually want concussion because it puts it in your pocket item, and I'm not. I'm. I, I'm. I'm. All I'm saying is I just know I'm not going to use it because um, I want my card as my active slot, so when I get hit, it triggers my card effects. Beautiful. I'll take the book just so we have a book. We've, we've almost got bookworm, right? Hanged man, no thank you. I really want like a good card or rune to be triggering. That's kind of my dream scenario right now. I don't even know if it works with runes, but I'm going to imagine it does. Giant boulder. Okay, we can't get that. Although, with the sun card... Or oh, the blood bag. Didn't really want that, but there you go. Bit of money, nice. More money, good. Is the sun card going to trigger at any point here? It's been triggering loads before, but now it just doesn't seem to want to. There you go. Come on, drop me an item. Oh, we got a, a booster pack here. If this works, this will be nuts. I have to find out. Bombs. Okay, we'll have to leave it here, I think, now. Right, I'll play this, see if I can get the bat giant boulder. Yes, I got it. Boulder. That wasn't three damage. Yeah, I just need to know if Solar Lilith works with this. I doubt it will. Like, I, to be fair, I could check. It might say. I 
Okay, oh, there it is. Chance to trigger the card you're holding when you take when taking damage drops a card. See, that's the thing. That that's not. I know that sounds like it's specific enough, but it isn't, because in like in pre-repentance, it was like double the doubles the effect of cards, and it also worked on runes. So it's like it's not really enough for me. Damn it. I should have just used my holy mantle to get across, really, shouldn't I? Oh well. Right, uh. Go back over here. Play this two more times to try and get that saw blade. I got it. That's good. This is gonna be nuts. Yep. As expected. It's nuts. As expected, it's nuts. I'm gonna hold on to this solar Lilith just in case, because it might work. You never know. Just gotta get hit enough times. I need another blood bank, blood donation machine, something like that. Oh my god. Not only are they saw blades everywhere, but they're rainbow saw blades. It's beautiful. Boom, boom, bow. Mr. Dolly, nice. Some spare soul hearts in here now. Spare soul hearts means we can get ourselves hit quite a bit. Soul of it works. It motherfucking works. Holy hell, it works. <laughs> well, this this could get really dumb. This is already pretty dumb, but it could get dumber. It could definitely get dumber. And I like the idea of dumber. My, my, this could end up being a long run. We have two back-to-back -back pretty long runs, but I like it. I don't know why I'm not properly taking damage here. Yes! Fate's reward, thank you. Taking damage spawns a random charm demon enemy. Oh, -ho! hell yes. That's very good for us. Let's go grab that heart real quick. Oh my god. I love runs like this. I mean, our key, of course, just makes runs wacky anyways, but runs that are this wacky... Fucking awesome. Runs where you get, like, a broken watermelon. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Sleepy time. I don't think we need anything from there. I will take this. I do not care if it's bad for us. I will take it anyways. Right. Let's keep going. Honestly, let's just go into our cash room because we might get a fucking familiar out of it. I can't see. I don't know what that noise is. There's this little noise every time we take damage. I don't know what's causing it. It's kind of weird. Right, let's go get that soul heart from the shop. We're spawning demon familiars like crazy as well, which is kind of funny. 
There you go. I doubt we're gonna die, but still. Maybe, maybe runes just have a lower chance to trigger on the card effect things. We've got the sun a ton of times, and we've only had solar worth like two, two or three times, two times I think. Maybe it's just a lower chance, but that doesn't bother me. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, we got a soul heart there as well. Thank you. Not as likely as I'd assume it'd be either. I definitely think we've solved some of our lag issues. Not all of them. It still is a bit laggy, but not as laggy as I'd assume for this much tears. Extra damage up. Nice. Dead. Nice. I'm going to take the executive decision to not take that. It might be very cool, but I have a feeling it will break our synergy somewhat with the watermelon tears. And I don't want that. Although that is a very cool item. The price seat's in the red pool, but I, I guess it is somewhat red. With the visor being like a red colour. But it's more white than red. But still, I guess, it, I guess it makes sense. There's some base game items in there that don't really make sense, so. It's fine. Bit of a polyon. Luck penny. Oh my lord. I really want a blood bank now. Temperance card or blood bank or whatnot. Would make my day. Any way that I can hurt myself, for red hearts specifically, is what I need. Oh my god. Right. You tried. You certainly tried. We're just getting more and more tears up the more damage we take. Ooh. Now, if we can find ways to take red heart damage, that little thing there is going to put us back to full. But I like the idea of that. You never know if you're going to get anything for it, though. Ooh, hello. Yep. I'll take it. I will take it. I have BFF, so why not? Arcade. Could this be the blood bank of our dreams? Oh god. It's gonna be real hard killing you, isn't it? <laughs> These saw blades are gonna make things mighty difficult. Blood banks. Good. Ugh. Although... Right, I'm just gonna test something. Okay, I unfortunately do lose my fire rate upon dropping that thing, which is a shame because I might have broken everything. We got blood bag. I kind of think we just take this. I know the watermelon break is pretty awesome, but unlimited familiars is equally pretty good. We get a lot of money out of it too. Oh, and quite a lot of demon familiars. Just, just, a, just, a, just a few. And, do you know what? I've just realized an absolutely absurd game break. We just need some red hearts to enable it. I am, I, I'm a dumbass. I just realized we've got an absolutely obscene potential game break here. Getting pretty nuts. Okay, keep that eternal heart. We'll try, we'll try starting it on the next floor. I can't even see anything. There's so many demon familiars on my screen, it's crazy. Right, just for the stats. 
Ace of Hearts, kind of interesting, but I'll leave it for now. Right, keep it going. Okay, these Demon Familiars are going, going kind of hard. There is quite a few of them. There we go. I'm going to take the negative now as well. I doubt I want anything from in here. I, I legit can't see anything. Restock machine's kind of interesting here. I'm just going to pop it. Okay. Right. I can't fucking see, but... Just in case we get something, like, real crazy here. Gimpy's pretty crazy. Gimpy's pretty crazy. Oh, here he is! It's Sig Monstro! I got a skin that makes Monstro into fucking Sig Monstro, and it's amazing. Like, I... I've been, I was, I sort of saw it in the workshop and was like, nah, not really my thing, because it's kind of more of a jerky skin, but then I saw the animations and everything, and it's, it works for Monstro, Monstro 2, and Delirium versions, and Little Monstro, and dude, it's so fucking high quality, and it honestly fits into the game so well, it reminds me a lot of, like, the Bumbo sprites, um, of Bumbino, should I say, and yeah, it's just, it's just kind of crazy, so, basically, my idea is, we go, boom, 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 Get the sun card there. Okay. It doesn't work as well on the womb just because we don't have um we don't have the ability to take half heart damage. It's still pretty good though. We did have another soul heart there that I never saw. Where's the soul heart? Okay, there it is. Oh my god. The demons. They never stop. I don't even know what's left. Is there an enemy left in here? What the hell's going on? Oh, it's an enemy I can't fucking kill. That's why. God damn it. There you go. Is that it for the soul hearts? I genuinely can't tell. Okay, there is another one in here. This is crazy dumb. I love it. I love it. Oh god. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard enemy to kill. Gotta chill out, sir. Guys, you need to kind of let this happen. I can't kill this dude if you don't let this happen. I'm gonna have to bomb out of here, aren't I? Okay, no. We're good. Thought I was going to have to bomb out. <laughs> oh my god. I've been kissed by a rose. There's a soul heart somewhere again that I can't find. <laughs> god damn it. Big fan. I like it. My god. <laughs> I'm having such trouble just seeing what's going on. Is the hearts on the floor? We'll never know.
And there must be a million of these little dudes floating around here. Okay, there's a half heart somewhere. Again, I just... There's drops going down like crazy, but I never know where any of them are. Turns out we didn't need our 15 fire rate at all. The 15 fire rate was in us all along. We got Twisted Pear that time. Angry Fly. Damn it. Trying to fish for the sun card, but it's difficult. I try. <laughs> Is that the. I placed a bomb. Okay, I'm going to say, it's somewhere. They're all just stars cards, I'm pretty sure. There's another soul heart there. Oh my god. I didn't even fire. My goodness. Higher chance of finding black hearts. Picking up a black heart gives you one to three black locusts. Okay, let's go with that. Nah, this will take full hearts for, away from us, won't it? Isn't very good for us. I shall not do that. What up, Fistula? Echo chamber. Don't even know how this would work with what we currently are going on, but it'd be crazy, I bet. Oh my god. It just never stops with this run. The fun never stops. I feel like an infinite being of pure chaos. Like, how do you even explain this to anyone that doesn't play Isaac? <laughs> how do you explain this to anyone that doesn't play modded, for that matter? There's just so much going on with this run. Cracked Crown is pretty good. Actually, how much of an increase is Cracked Crown? Ah, it's not even that much. It's good, but it's not great. Damn it, Soul of Lilith. Don't even know what's dropped anymore. I have no idea. We should go back and get that chest room over there. Make our way back over to it. Oh, we should also do that boss trap room as well, actually. With Conjoint, this has just got even wackier. It was already wacky. Conjoint has uh, skyrocketed it tenfold. We're not getting many uh, familiars at the minute, but that's fine. We've already got quite a few. I don't know where I placed that bomb. I just... I can, I can never see my bombs. I never know where I placed them. They're just lost to the craziness. There is a red heart in there. I will keep popping this until it gives me my soul of Lilith. I really should be popping my sun card. Like I said, it worked, if we had the wafer, this would work way better. Because we'd be able to cycle soul of Lilith and the sun card basically constantly. And have infinite HP to play around with. There's a soul heart in here somewhere. I see you there, Dominic. Ooh, okay. I see. I see how it is. A bed for me. Little Steven. Nice. That didn't work. Okay, there you go. I 
I kind of need these guys to fuck off a little bit, but <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not going to get that to happen anytime soon. Halo flies, nice. Y'all dead. Bing bong. I just, I don't even know. Do we have two twisted pairs, by the way? I think we do, don't we? No, thank you. Okay, we managed to get in here somehow. There's an item somewhere. Okay, there it is. Apple. Up we go. <laughs> At this point, like... I, I, I can't even commentate properly because just... The screen is just bizarre. It's indescribable. I, I just can't believe, like, I don't know if it's, like, the mods that I removed or whatnot, but the lag is so much better. Like, we're at, like, 32 FPS right now, which it seems really low compared to the game normally running at 60. But honestly, that's, like, a dream compared to... Th this run would normally be at, like, 20 or lower. Easily. Oh, can you chill out for a minute, sir? Oh, come on now. Don't be like this. Enemy sucks. I think we genuinely might be trapped in this room. Because he's not going to pop up while these familiars are all shooting at him. This is where this enemy design just does not work. Like, you can't have this. It, it just doesn't work. There you go. Finally. Hello, fella. I'll pay into you. Give me a red heart. Oh, that's not what I meant, but I'll take it. There we go. That's what I meant. Bushy. We got another one. He's back. Take my money again. Again, sir. Portable slot. Not really what we're looking for this time. Oh, my God. I lo One of the things I love about about Isaac Game Breaks and about just, just Isaac in general is this. This run has been won since the moment we used Arky. But, yeah, I'm fighting so hard to make it ever stronger. For no reason other than it's fun. And the, the game is, it just has a remarkable ability to do that. Like, not many games can literally put you in a position where you cannot lose, essentially. Uh, not many other games can do that and still make it so that the game is, like, really fun. This won't even give me a fire up, will it? Oh, no, it did. It did. Not much of one. But then again, not much of a damage down either. Yeah, not many other games can do that where they make it where you can utterly obliterate the game to the point of, like, it being a piece of piss and, like, basically not having to try. But you still want to play out the rest of the run and get as many items as you can and make these crazy cool combos. I don't even know what I, like, the runs like this are always are concerning for me, because they're very fun, but they're very long, and I know not a lot of people have the time to watch a plus hour video, so that concerns me. But also, what the fuck do I make, how, how do I make a thumbnail out of this? What do I put in the thumbnail? There's literally so many things, so many things that are integral to the craziness of this run that I could put in the thumbnail. T the torn card thing will definitely be in there, probably with Solar Lilith. And probably Arky, but I don't know what else. There's so many other great things. Sadly, that's not very good for us now. This might crash our game, but I've got to try it. And that's worthless to us.
Yeah, now the lag's getting to that 20 FPS mark. Where's my solar Lilith? Okay, so there, I got it. I grabbed it. There's the 16 FPS we've been waiting for. I knew it'd come eventually. I knew we'd get to that point. Just how long does it take is all. You never really know. Oh my god. Beelzebub was making this easy as well, because we don't actually have to finish off the uh, enemy at all. There's hearts around here somewhere, apparently. I, I don't know where. Ah, they're all in this corner. Just playing the long con. By that, I mean I'm playing the game in slow motion. Piercing. <laughs> I think we already had that, but we'll take it. I love the fact that the saw blades are splitting up as well. Like we fired at the start of this room and haven't fired since. And it just keeps going. Oh, another familiar. The, the, the sad thing is we can only have 64 familiars at a limit, so and that doesn't include the charmed ones. But still, we're gonna get to the point where we ha can't go anymore. Eve's Mascara, I don't think is worth taking. A double in damage for a half in fire edge isn't worth it. Not that it matters at all, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. In a world where it would matter, it doesn't matter. I love that. I just fire once and everything dies. I don't even know what hit me then. No idea. Let's go grab the uh, soul heart up here. Just, just in case. Just in case. I don't think we'll do void this time, by the way. Oh, I picked it up anyway. This doesn't matter. I guess we're picking it up now. Right. Goodbye, sweet prince. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Epiphora, get that in there, why not? But yeah, that was uh, that was beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely crazy run, and I will see you guys in the next one.